everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. Today's video is a little vlog. I'm gonna go around Chicago, run a couple errands, take you guys with me. I'm real hungry, so I'm gonna grab some lunch. I have to stop by, I'm not feeling it today. I haven't been feeling it all week. I was gonna, I don't know why I'm saying this. I was not going to start this video like this. Um, I feel like I am lacking inspiration. I'm lacking motivation in all areas of life except organizing and cleaning because right now I'm on a major organizing and cleaning kick because I am deep into cleaning TikTok. Man, I never get on TikTok, but once I discovered the cleaning and organizing side of TikTok, I have learned so much and I am in process of decluttering our entire apartment and getting rid of tons of stuff that we don't need anymore, that we don't want anymore and figuring out ways to organize everything. I'll have to show you guys how I've done our linen closet so far. In my opinion, it looks really good. I even folded the towels in the fancy way. So I'll show you guys, um, but I don't know how that relates to what I was saying. Um, I think this week we went out of town last weekend. So this week I just feel all out of sorts. I think that I just like need to take a day this weekend and really brainstorm um, some video ideas that I'm excited about. I also think that I need to really set some time aside to work on my website. I mentioned in a video in June that I am working on my website. I finally have the actual like website done, the design, everything. I think I like it enough. <laughs> I realize it's never gonna be perfect, so I have to let some things go, but I do think it looks really cute right now. So now I'm at the point where I need to really write my blog post. That's basically what I have to do. I even have all my videos up there already, like all of my Previous videos are all up to date on there. So I have to really work on the blog posts and I think I just need to force myself to like create a schedule of when I'm filming, when I'm editing, when I'm writing and really stick to that because what ends up happening is I will stick to my editing and filming days but then other things come up and I just have not really put a focus on the blogging aspect that I really need to do if I wanna have this website up and running. So based on my research, it seems like a good amount of content to have ready before you launch a blog is about two months worth. So I am thinking that I will have three blog posts a week, which you can do the math on that of how much I'll need. But actually wait, do the math because I'm actually really bad at math. Wait, three times a week, four weeks in a month, 12, 24. Wow, that was really embarrassing. 24, I need to have 24 blog posts. Wow, that's actually not a lot. That sounds like a lot less than it was in my mind. See, this is what I do. I like put things off because in my mind, it gets to be this big task. Even filming, editing, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's gonna take me forever. It's gonna be so much work. Oh, I'm so stressed about it. And then I put it off and then it's more stressful. So I don't know why I do that. I've always done that, by the way, ever since I was young and in school. Um, but anyway, I keep putting it off, but then I sit down and it comes time to do it. And I'm like, wait, this, this literally doesn't take time. If I just focus, it doesn't take time at all. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's happening up here. With all this being said, I'm still really enjoying YouTube. I love making videos. I love sharing Chicago with all of you. I love sharing the random travels I go on. And I just really appreciate all of you being here. Any of you who have subscribed, I just really appreciate it. My channel is growing and that's really exciting to me. Every time I hit kind of the next milestone in my mind is really, really exciting. So I just really wanna thank you guys for being here. Thanks for uh, watching my videos. <laughs> anyway, as for today, I am going to take you along with me while I run a few errands in the city. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be all that exciting, but you know what? We'll see what we get into. I know I have to stop by a cute little shop in Lincoln Square, so that'll be fun. And I'm also gonna run a few other errands. I'm getting repetitive. Let's just go. Let's just go get in the car. Okay. Okay. I think that it is time to make the coffee. Give me dad espresso. Oh, gotta fill the tank. Hold on, please. The beans that I'm using right now are the ones that I got in Montana when I went on my camping trip. I think it's called Sweetwater Coffee. It is so good. So I'm gonna finish making a little iced latte really quick. I guess while I'm here, I'll show you our coffee drawer. Arsh and I obviously love coffee. And one of our favorite things to do is when we travel, we pick up different bags of coffee to try. This one I just got from a coffee shop in Lexington, Kentucky. It's called Jefferson Street Coffee. The lattes we had here were absolutely incredible. They also have the cutest little logo, it's a fox. They have a really cool mural on the side of the coffee shop. So their lattes were phenomenal. So we obviously had to get some espresso there. 
We have like a whole assortment of different ones in here. A nice latte in one of my favorite mugs. It is a crash landing on you mug. Have any of you seen that K-drama? It is the cutest thing ever. So that's what this is from. I got it off of Etsy. Can't wait to drink this. Okay, I just stopped by Barish's aunt and uncle's house. Um, his aunt Rita is from Estonia and she's the most incredible baker. So I had asked if she would make us a little Kringle for us to take this weekend since my aunt and uncle are visiting and we're kind of having some family time. So she made us this incredible looking Kringle. It has like chocolate and cinnamon in it. It literally tastes phenomenal and Barish and I really want her to teach us how to make it. Neither of us are great bakers so Time will tell on if we're able to make it ourselves, but I'll insert pictures here of the process of her making it and what it looks like when it's finished. It looks absolutely unreal. I literally cannot wait to eat it. Um, we are unsure about how many people are gonna end up being at the house tomorrow morning at my parents. So I'm actually gonna stop by a bakery and get a couple other little things just in case we need more pastries. Um, but yeah, it looks so good, I cannot wait. So I'm actually in Edgewater right now where we used to live and I'm gonna go to Flower Bakery because if you guys watch my videos, you know that's one of my favorite bakeries in Chicago. So I wanted to go with a tried and true favorite for all of the company that my parents will be having. So we're gonna go in there really quick and then I'm gonna pick up something for lunch because I am a ravenous. I also forgot that I was supposed to go to Lincoln Square before I came over here to pick up a couple things there. So I have a feeling we'll be going over to Andersonville before I head home to pack our bags. I'm running low on time. It is now one o'clock. Oh gosh. Acknowledge how incredible these look. Like what? I got a chocolate chip scone for my sister. I got some chocolate croissants. My favorite, their cheese danishes. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely unreal. And then almond croissants, Barish's favorite. And then we'll have these with the Kringle so everybody can have a little bit of everything. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I want to eat it right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get some lunch. <laughs> Sometimes the only thing that you can get is canes. Hey, You know, guys, you know me. If you watch my channel, you know that I love local restaurants, love trying local places. That's always my top priority. But sometimes all that you need is raising canes. And sometimes that's the only thing that sounds good and the only thing that will suffice is canes. Let me show you how delicious this looks. There are a couple Cane's locations in Chicago now, thrillingly enough. I went to the one in Wrigley today because I happened to be passing through. Got the classic box combo with chicken tenders, fries, their homemade secret sauce, and a Texas toast. Truly, nothing looks better than this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. My love affair with Cane's started when I was in college and after college living in Lexington, Kentucky because they had canes there, a bunch of them. It was my first time ever trying it and it was freaking divine. Mm -hmm. I wish the canes existed in more places. It still surprises me it's in Chicago. There's some in the suburbs of Chicago and there's two in Chicago proper, one here in Wrigley and one by Loyola in Rogers Park. It seems to me that canes opens their locations near colleges a lot of the time, which makes sense because truly this is amazing drunk food. I am not drunk right now, stone cold sober, but it still tastes delicious. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about a podcast recommendation that I have for you. After I'm done talking to you guys, I'm gonna listen to this podcast. I'm generally not the hugest podcast person. I have like one podcast I listen to religiously and that's Crime Junkie, because it is the best. I've tried getting into other crime podcasts. I listen to Sword and Scale a little bit, but that one can get really dark. And that's like a little, I don't know. That one can be a little bit much for me. But in general, I really love crime stories love true crime, very fascinated by all of that. So Crime Junkie is my jam. I listen to it every week when they have new episodes. I subscribe to their Patreon and get extra episodes through that. And I saw that there was a podcast that Spotify was recommending to me based on me listening to Crime Junkie and it was called Something Was Wrong. 
Apparently I'm very far behind on this because apparently this podcast has been out since like 2018 and actually won podcast of the year in 2018 or 2019. But I just finished listening to the first season. Guys, so it is following the story of a woman named Sarah and she shares her story of dating a guy who ends up being like a total sociopath, like genuinely a narcissistic sociopath. And the things he does to her to manipulate her, gaslight her, it's crazy. There's a catfishing element. I don't want to spoil anything, but oh my gosh, you guys have to listen to it. I was enraptured by this and hearing her tell her story, I mean, it was just wild. It's like really, it's crazy. I just started the second season and I think it is seeming like it's about someone who has Munchausen's. I know there's an updated term for that. I'm already super into it, super invested. So if you are into podcasts like that, I highly recommend Something Was Wrong. I've been starting to plan some upcoming videos for my channel and I feel like I've been struggling kind of back to the topic at the beginning of this video. I feel like I've been struggling because it's been so hot outside. Like I know that sounds so ridiculous, like I'm a giant baby, but I am about the heat. I don't like the heat. It's been like 100 degrees out for days on end. It's painful. Today is actually a really nice day. It's the first nice day in a long time. Barsh and I went out of town last weekend with our friends. We went to Lexington, Kentucky and had an absolute blast. I didn't vlog that trip because I don't know. I just, it's hard when I'm with friends because I really want to be present and in the moment. And I don't want to be making it about me trying to like take videos of everything we eat and everywhere we go. So that makes it a little hard, but we had a blast and I definitely want to go back to Lexington. It's such a quick drive from Chicago. I definitely want to go back there and make a video for you guys because it is such a fun city. I actually really love Lexington. As I mentioned, I did live there before. Loved living there time of my life. So I would really like to share a vlog with you guys, but I actually think I'm going to create a blog post about my trip to Lexington. So when my website's up, you guys will be able to see that. I'm realizing that I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time to run my errands, so I think we're just gonna do Target and then go home and pack. So I'm gonna finish eating this, listen to my podcast while I do it, and then we're gonna head to Target, which is, as we know, the happiest place on earth. I always wanna look at the clothes. But these city targets are so tiny. They have the smallest clothing sections known to them. This is gonna get though. I swear to God, I could spend hours walking the beauty aisle. I could look at drugstore beauty for literally hours. It's such a problem. See, look how distracted I am. I'm here for one thing and I immediately went to the beauty section. Christy. I wish I had a normal target closer to me instead of a city target, but it's fine. Ugh. Wait, where did I buy these from? It wasn't here. What the heck? I thought these were special. <laughs> oh, these are cute. These ones are like evil eye, astrology. The ones that I have, it's like Chinese food on one side, sushi, and then other ones like the little Thai cat. So cute. What other ones they have? The last thing I need is more notebooks. They have so many cute things. Wait, what? I'm here for a gift bag. That's literally all I'm here for is literally a gift bag. This is why I can't come here. Oh, look at all of these. Okay, gift bags. That's literally all I'm here for. Okay, I'm home now from Target and I have to hurry and pack, but I wanted to show you guys the part of our linen closet that I have organized so far. Haven't gotten down there yet, which it doesn't exist. Look how nice this looks. So I kept two of our original storage containers, these blue things, out for things that we don't use a ton and then put a pillow above there. And then here I put our soaps and candles and little plugins for the wall things from Bath and Body Works. Our little first aid kit with masks, extra first aid kit that we don't need to use a lot of. That's why I use the one with the lid on it because we don't need to get into this very often. Our iron and then my pride and joy, the linens. I literally folded these towels and sheets like they do on TikTok, it's fine. So we have towels, Bedding, bedding, kitchen towels and tablecloths, beach towels, and some more random beach towels, blankets. I am pretty proud of how this looks. I'm gonna be honest, like, wow. Good job, Christy. Okay, I have to pack and then we're gonna hit the road. Two days later. It is now Sunday. Hi, Barish. Hello. <laughs> it is now Sunday. We just came back from Indiana. We had a lovely weekend, swam a lot in the pool. And now we've been kind of just catching up on stuff at home. And now we are gonna go to get some dinner at Nella. 
here in Hyde Park. So I'll show you guys what we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go walk over by the lake. Nella is truly a gem in Hyde Park with a beautiful indoor space and the perfect cozy outdoor dining area. We didn't order cocktails today, but I have to mention their menu of classic Italian cocktails which we have tried previously and were delicious. Your meal starts with complimentary fresh bread, olive oil, and Parmesan cheese, and Barish and I ordered one of our favorite appetizers, the calamari. Theirs is so good and light, which is a word I would not normally use to describe something fried, but it is so good. Their pizza is truly the star of the show and is insanely good. This is a classic Neapolitan pizza baked in a wood-burning oven and we have yet to try one at Nella that we don't love. Today we tried one of their current specials, the picante, which had spicy sausage, jalapenos, and peppers. It had the perfect spicy kick and we were obsessed with it. The pasta at Nella is also impressive as the chef makes the pasta fresh by hand and you can really taste the difference. Barish ordered another menu special, the sea bass with spaghetti, and it was really good, though we both loved what I ordered. The Saracino, made up of pappardelle pasta, mussels, pecorino, black truffle, garlic oil, and white wine. It was actually incredible and we couldn't stop talking about it on our walk home. They just brought us some complimentary limoncello. I don't know if they normally do this, but we are very excited to drink it. You grab mine. Cheers. Bing, bing. Bing, bing. Our dinner at Nella was the perfect way to wrap up our weekend. I want to give a shout out to our server, Fulvio, who was so kind and attentive. I told him I'd make him famous, so here we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.